Hey guys, welcome to a new Let's Play. We are, as you can tell, gonna play Cyberpunk 2077. That was my, uh, that was my Keanu impression. Um, yeah, so really looking forward to this game. Been waiting forever, and I think a lot of people are, are similarly excited. Uh, there was a lot of hype around this game, and um, yeah, just super excited to dive in now. So just so you guys know, this is the console version, the PlayStation 4 version, but I am playing on a PlayStation 5. Um, they just haven't released, or they aren't going to release a next-gen version of this game until later next year, but who's, who went to wait that long? Um, so it's not going to be like the ultra-high PC version, but hopefully it runs a little bit better um, because it is on a PS5. I've um, been hearing a lot of uh, issues about this game being pretty buggy, and that's kind of the, the risk of playing a game like when it first comes out, like day one, because they haven't like fixed all the bugs and stuff, and we'll probably see some crazy things, but you know, we'll roll with it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just dive in. And see what we're dealing with. Select difficulty level. Let's just do normal. Night City. Uh, Alright, so there are three uh, options to start off. And they call them life paths. So this is basically how you start off like your scenario. Like starting the game. Uh, it looks like... Oh, I'll just read these. Nomad. Roaming the Badlands. Looting scrapyards. Raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy. But growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy. Uh, street Kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. Corpo. Few in the corporate world with. Uh, wait, few leave the corporate world with their lives. Fewer still with their souls intact. You've been there. You bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as fair game. Only winners and losers. Cool. All right. So, basically, the there's just different uh, perks for each of these that uh, that they give you throughout the game. So, like, if you're corpo, you might get some extra um, mission paths that like have more to do with like wheeling and dealing with like another corporate agent or like. You're just a little bit more tech and business, or uh, not tech, business savvy. So you can like uh, maybe talk, like have extra dialogue options and stuff. So which is pretty interesting. Uh, I was initially uh, thinking about Street Kid because like I just think it's probably gonna give you a lot of perks as far as like vendors and locals that you talk to. Like they're probably gonna be more willing to help you and give you more information. But I'm also um, the one I wasn't really thinking about, but. Um, I'm really interested in now is Nomad because you're coming in fresh like you're not from Night City so you have to get your make your way into Night City like kind of a, as a newbie and as someone who's never played anything with Cyberpunk like I've never played the tabletop role-playing game or anything I feel like this might be the most appropriate to kind of introduce us to this game and like this world and like the city um, it's it might be the most disadvantaged as far as like I don't get like street cred perks or like corporate uh connections but so that may that may make things a little tougher but i think this will be the most authentic experience for for at least me who doesn't know anything about this so that's what i'm gonna go with we're gonna go with nomad and see how this goes body type uh so you can pick a guy or a girl i'm gonna go with femme femme character because uh i just think they're more interesting like they tend to be uh just more uh better acted I think and also because the voice actress for the female version is the same actress uh, I forget her name unfortunately but she's the same person who plays Makoto in Persona 5 and if you've seen any of those videos that I've made like I love that game and I love Makoto um, I think the voice actress does an amazing job with bringing her to life I'm really curious to see how she does with this which is like a totally different scenario like that one's just like you know, lighthearted Japanese, like high school teenager and doing like goofy, funny stuff. And this is like so different. And I'm just really interested to see her, like how she changes it up for that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do um, female. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now there's a customer. Career. So there is nudity in this. So I will probably actually like edit this part out. Um, it's also might be boring for people. I don't know how interesting it is for people to, uh, to see, um, like me going through like different 
hairstyles and eye you know eye shape options so we're gonna we're gonna edit this out and then i'll skip back to once we're we're kind of done with this and ready to move on all right we're back uh yeah there were definitely boobies uh involved in the character creation uh it's pretty ridiculous it's also first person game uh view so i'm not sure how much of our character we'll even see so that's kind of interesting that they made us do that anyway um but yeah we're uh, i'm excited so what i did was uh we also got to pick out our uh starting stats so there are a bunch of different ones but since you know this is a, a cyberpunk so there's a lot of like hacking and like uh tech involved so i i wanted to go towards that rather than just like generic like good at guns and strong you know like you could do in any kind of game but this is cyberpunk so i picked uh skills that would help us with hacking and uh any kind of like um technological things um and also cool which i think helps us with like dialogue i thought since this is a game where you can pick a bunch of different uh, how you want to talk to people and um, if it's something anything like fallout or mass effect or anything like that the more perks you have in like something like cool the more dialogue options you have to like get out of situations or get people to do what you want so those are the kind of stats i'm going to focus on and uh, hopefully i can show you the, some of those like in the menu uh, a little bit later on let's go i'm excited Oh, oh, there's our, there's our lady. I, yeah, I picked a short kind of pixie haircut just because the long ones are looking kind of strange. She doesn't look quite look like I wanted her to, but, uh, you know, whatever. Close enough. All right, user unknown. Remove patch. What does that mean? Hmm. Backers. Electric coupling module. Said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. First time in Night City? Play close attention to the tutorials and learn more about the basic, basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already experienced, we're not experienced, so we're just gonna leave those on. Movements. All right. You can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad while she's hugging the border. Hmm. All right, so we're supposed to talk to him, but let's look around a little bit. This is our first uh, time in this world. Oh, we can take that. All right, I will take that. All right, well, let's look around, see if there's any other items. Can we look at ourselves again? No. Um, even in the, the near future, uh, garages look basically the same. <laughs> can we grab any of this stuff? Oh, we can see myself. Ah. Okay. Oh, what's that? Soy paste. I don't know what that is. I'm going to take that. Counterfeit documents. The Unification War for Gonks. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see. Uh, Max Doc. Okay. I don't, uh, instantly restores 40 health. Heck yeah. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to bother with her the computer yet. Tia Tiancho Pomelo applies the hydration status. Oh God, that's kind of small to read. Increases max stamina by 10. Okay, helps with that. I'm taking all your stuff, dude. Okay. There's going to be a lot in this game, I think. All right, let's talk to this guy. Check engine, step aside, I'll handle. I'm going to pay you. Well, if you can't fix it, that's fine. I'm gonna... Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? Mm. Uh, hot wire. I'll bypass the coupling. I'm thinking. Let's hot wire. bypass Let's the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. <laughs> I already see a, a visual glitch. Did anyone ask your opinion? All right. Oh, so we now get. Oh, let's check out our ride here. Um, <laughs> not the most impressive wheels, I guess, in the game. Uh, hopefully, we can upgrade pretty soon. This is this is uh, pretty much a definition of a beater. <laughs> okay. Let's get it. Okay. Humble beginnings, guys. Humble beginnings. Start engine. It's like a 
I was telling you. Uh oh, let's try this again. Hey. Not shabby at all. Questions Did how it. long it'll last you. It'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. Right. What a POS, right? This uh this car is not oh let's see. Doable? Doable. Looking for I'm Jackie. Looking Wells. for someone. Jackie Wells? If you maybe. So doable? Sure was. Satisficing that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. Connect to radio. Okay, I guess that's what we have to do. Alright. Mm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to him much. You don't say. Oh, oh no. Who's that? Uh oh. Hey Mike, didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a, a few hours past. I I thought she'd at least called in to you. Don't you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Uh oh. Don't you know Hello, you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. Hmm. No need to worry, I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. Uh, oh no, there's I timers on these responses. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? Don't make things difficult, sir. I don't want to have to do that things no that... Vehicle. Might have expected that. Uh, I'll just fix it and be on my way. Do you have a problem? Let's not try to antagonize them. We're we. Uh, I'll we're just fix it up and go. I not no equipped for this. <sighs> nope. You sure shit don't. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? It seems like we're here alone. There's no clan. There's no camp. I'm here alone. I ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. Uh, I, I guess we need to use a radio tower. I saw a broadcasting comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? Closed door. You, I don't want any trouble. You like the sound of your voice. So again, let's not try to antagonize him. Sounds like he's going to let us uh, go on our way. Clear. I don't want any trouble. Then stop looking for him and hit the road quick. We weren't looking for it. We were getting our car fixed. All right, we're getting out of here. Oh, oh. Okay, so uh, steering looks like it's pretty normal. We gotta go. Let's look at our map here. Okay, we gotta go this way. Ooh, this car. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Look at this town. Oh, people are talking. Uh, you know, let's just get to our goal. Like we can explore this stuff later. I feel like we should just kind of get the story a little underway here. Oh, break! Okay. End of the road. Exit the vehicle, hold, circle. Ugh, I don't love that it's first person, especially since I went to the trouble of customizing my character, but that's the way it is. Oh, no. Uh, kick. <laughs> yes! Okay, we are strong. We can kick open doors. Let's see if there's anything. This garbage that we can, uh, we can, we can grab here. Let's see what's in here. Locked. Oh, all right. Well, we're not that strong. I can't open that door. <laughs> Let's see if there's another way around. Can I run? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. Anything in here? Anything worth grabbing? No. Anything on this? This is what we gotta do. We gotta explore. Look around. Ooh, a ladder. Okay. Nothing. 
All right, let's uh, let's go up then. What was that? Just random items. Okay, so I oh, I think I see something over there. Can I? Can I jump? Ah, I can. Okay, nice traversal. Let's go here. Better not fall to my death in the very first few minutes of this game. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like we got something here. Uh, Vatna something still applies the hydration status, which increases max stamina. All right, we go. take that. Uh, what is this? Studded dildo. <laughs> Uh, all right. I guess we're. I guess we're. We know what type of game this is gonna be. <laughs> uh, what's that? Condoms. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Another. Another. St uh, what were they doing up here? Well, I guess we got a pretty good idea what they're doing up here. But why were they doing it up here? Um. All right. Well. <laughs> I know what we're in store for here. All right. Let's jump over this. Let's get here. We are traversing. Um, uh, let's see if there's anything over here. Looks like a dead end. Alright, let's go up this ladder. Well, I like that, that she automatically goes up ladders. Like, you don't have to, like, hit another button and do that, that kind of crap. Okay. Now, let's see. We have... I think there's maybe stuff over there. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. They kind of pushed me over a little. Um, doesn't look like anything. Is that an item? Can I jump on this? Yes. Oh, common item components. Hmm. What are these glowing thingies here? Oh, it's cabling. Okay. All right, control box, open. Oh. <laughs> Connect to radio station. Hello? Come in. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. Willie McCoy. It's good to hear your voice. Fee. Wish I could say the same. Uh, then why don't you? Why can't you? Oh. You abandoned the clan. I can't help you anymore. Never knew you to be so cautious. Try loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without him. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Wouldn't be a problem if you're still a backer. You should have stuck with them, joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. The Snake Nation can kiss my ass. Um, I need your help. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I, I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Clicking you the geolog data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. Stop leaning. What? What does that mean? Okay. So job updated. I think we've done what we need to do here. Is there <laughs> anything? Oh. oh. Okay. Actual traversal bottles. Alright, let's get out of here. I do not want to dive to my death. Climb. How do I... Which way is down? This way? Oop. Okay. Get back into our... Our junk heap here. Alright. Back out. Uh, I'm already warning you. I'm not, like, from what I know of, like... My skills in GTA 5 and stuff. I am not a good driver, so I'm sure I'll do some. Oh! Some, some 
horrible car crashes soon. Okay. This car actually moves pretty fast. Ah, uh, beautiful cyberpunk. Scenic. <laughs> Not quite what we were expecting. Very humble beginnings here. We'll get there. New area, Dry Creek. Dry Creek it is for sure, man. Oh. Yeah, look at that, cornering. <laughs> all right. The braking uh, isn't so stable, but. All right, head to the meeting place. Let's get out of the car. Um, do you think it's worth looking around? I'm gonna do a quick little, uh, at least I can see my shadow if I can't see my custom person. Let's take a look at what we got over here. That's a better car, can we steal that? Breaking into vehicles. You can bypass the locks of parked vehicles if you meet the technical ability attribute requirement. Oh, that, I wasn't done reading that. Um, let's see, anything over here? What do we got? <gasps> Ooh, mess it. We'll take that. See what's over here. I mean, look, exploration got us a, a, a mess kit out of that. Worth it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ashtray. Uh, well, we can get three three dollars out of it. All right, let's go. Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Um, you Jackie Wells? You Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz, eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Uh, Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So? Imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess you could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. Mm -hmm. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. Got no idea myself, and that's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle. These are stolen corporate goods. Stolen? No. Oh. Some gonk lost the crate. Some other gonk found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. And there's no one looking for this crate. Ain't a problem if they look. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. Uh, did you see that? It started out in Spanish and it translated uh, in the subtitle. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you get it. You're started a big strong dude. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up, and you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know. The sheriff he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yup. Yup. Open the trunk. Get in. Like my ride? Oh, we headed out. <laughs> All right. Drive to the border, okay? Let's open this car up. See how fast she goes. The transport. Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds. He, he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey, you, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why? Are you nervous? Me? <laughs> ah, poor boy. What? Well, uh, maybe a little. What's with the, uh, AWAT zone? Not a friendly area, I don't think. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, border crossing up ahead. What now? 
Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Area. You got it, sir. Oh, that was weird. What the heck was Remain that? Remain in your happen? vehicle. The security cool. check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. Uh, you know down. they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have got to calm down. Right, right, yeah. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. Ah, it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. Means the cargo was flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. Well, they're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingada madre. What now? Um, Relax. that's how it works. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? Not really. If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docks, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. You forgot. <laughs> Jackie. Right. Trying to take some of that for yourself? Running. In case of a cock up. Do that. Okay. Yeah, Hands I don't think we can handle your this. Head. Hit the ground, flat on your gut. Only saying this once. What I do? Leave him alone. On the ground. That's not negotiable. Ooh. Proceed to customs without undue delay. All right, all right. Let's see. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Place weapon. Didn't even know we had that. Now please report to room number two. Room number two. Got it. I just want to look around though. What's up, people? What are you doing? Hey there. <laughs> All right. So it looks like uh, what's with the Republic of Texas? <laughs> uh, Night City. So I've heard. Uh, I have read some little like like primer info on How's this it and it sounds like night city is kind of like its own sovereign it's not part of the u.s is what i've kind of heard i don't know if that's totally true but that's kind of my impression oh this place has seen some action okay let's just go in here hello please sit papers uh is this routine? routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? Uh. If anything's wrong, just say so. I'm sure we can figure it out. I haven't said anything yet. The question is, should I expect to find anything out of order? Well, this is our only option. There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which nomad clan? Uh, let's see. I None. Don't for any clan. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. Uh, the feelings mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Okay. That went. Whoa, what was that? That was crazy. Don't forget to take your personal items. Yeah, I want my gun back. Be Give careful me. with that toy. 
Well, well tell me what they do. Oh, thank you. Those little shits imagine Night City as some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a euphemism for ignorant. Oh, it got uh, dark. Oh, oh, you're driving now? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Alright, I was thinking something would go bad in there, but uh, luckily... That, uh, that was pretty smooth. All right. Whew. You gonna tell me what happened back there? Customer, uh, I have a sneaky feeling. Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, oh. no. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie. Just drive. Maybe the that customs officer is still gonna rat us out. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Uh -oh. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. Oh great. <laughs> you are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Are you serious? Yeah. Vehicles. Combat. Draw weapon by triangle. Holster weapon and return to see double tap triangle. As a passenger, drawing your weapon allows you to lean out the window and use your entire arsenal of equipped ranged weapons. Shoot with R2. Oh god. Does not have a lot of range. Am I hitting this guy? Yeah, I got him. Ah. Well, his car's on fire. Oh! It's a punch. I'm trying to blow up this car. A little bit more uh, sturdy. Oh. How do I reload? Sometimes these things happen. This? What kind of shit happens? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? Uh... I gotta ask you the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Dang. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. Can't pay you now. What? I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Oh, and you just figured I would sit by patiently? Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I was just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... You're all right. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Okay. Well, let's grab some. Ooh, grab some 
some stuff. Open it. Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna look around. Ooh, steel toe rocker boots. I will take that. New items received. More ashtrays. Wait, can I wear these uh boots? Wait, hold on. Inventory. Crafting character. Oh, I guess I can show you. Yeah, so these are the uh, these are the different main stats um, that are for your character. So reflexes determine your maneuverability in addition to increasing your overall movement speed. Each level in reflexes will increase your passive evasion from enemy attacks, increase crit chance, increase damage from mantis blades. I didn't actually put anything in that one. That was the only one I, I left level one. Uh, technical ability represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by five. Oh, I didn't know that was one too. Um, yeah, I put two in that one, two in cool. Uh, determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level cool will increase crit damage, increase all resistances, increase stealth damage. That was interesting to me. It reduce the speed at which enemies re uh, detect you in stealth, increase Mono wire damage. Oh, I think mono wire is like you know that wire that people use to like choke people, not choke people, basically um, uh, kill them and stealth. Intelligence determines your net running of proficiency. Every level intelligence will increase cyberdeck ram capacity. I have no idea what that means. Quick hack damage, quick hack duration. I'm hoping we'll we'll understand what all that means. And then I put one in body. Uh, body determines your raw physical power in addition to allowing you to force open doors. Each level of body starting will... Uh, more health, more stamina, increased damage with uh, melee, increased damage with melee weapons, de decreased movement penalty while grabbing an enemy. Oh, interesting. Increased movement while grappling an enemy. Okay, cool. Yeah, so basically I want to be like kind of a, a high-tech net runner who maybe stealths when you need to. Um, if we get into actual just like full-on gunfights, I think that's where this character build will will not be so great. Uh, let's go to inventory, see if I can wear these uh, new boots I got. Nomad shoes. Oh wait, steel toe right, I need, ah, oh, this is such small text. Level requirement two for, for something. Oh, oh, just overall, okay. Well, we have it. All right, I just wanted to see if I could put those on immediately, but at least we got a little, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's open it. Oh shit. Says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Oh, my miss. A real iguana. A, uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Can't see it. Lesser until what? Yeah, I watched a thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You've come a long it. way, my scaly friend. <sighs> think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you, uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And NC ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Maybe you weren't gonna... Weren't you gonna, like, betray us? And, like, run with all the... the the merchandise? Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. It got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey. Oh. Aww, cuddly little fucker. Didn't know it was alive. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. Oh, 
You don't mean that, Chica. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. Ah. That was not what I was expecting to be in that box. Hello there, Night City! Ooh. Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gods will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. <laughs> what the heck? NC's legends. Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. That was an interesting... Uh, I, they just montaged us like a couple of weeks, I feel like, of getting into Night City. I thought it was going to be like a whole new brand, fresh... I think we're looking like, for somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that came Half a year there. later. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Uh, sure, a little warm-up can't hurt. Wait, what? Militech. Jack, we're talking classified military-grade tech here. How did you get it? Debug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Thinks she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her, uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. I'm kind of bummed that they, uh, they kind of montaged us through the intro of Night City and stuff, like, us getting into it. Like, that was the whole point of going Nomad. Like, I feel like they did that just to catch us up well, to, like, Street Kid or something. Sure. All right, all right. Why the hell not? Where did we just put that? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. Okay. Interesting. It's like control. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Hope you're ready uh, to bust ass through this fascist playground. Begin training. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm up. Uh, Lexington. Shoot with R2, aim with L2, reload, holster your weapon. Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? No problem. Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover. 
Press to crouch and hide behind cover. Cover can protect you from enemy cover. Okay. How do I... You took Load. a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. What's that? Uh, hold on. Max Doc MK1. Take... When you pick up a consumable, it will automatically be added to the consumable quick slot in your inventory, if any. Press up on the D-pad now to use one regain health. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Uh, switch weapons. Okay. Action block. Uh-oh. Oh, look, brought some tombs with him this time. You know what to do with me. Ugh. Got that guy, reload. Ah, I'm getting hit still from that guy. Got a headshot. Huh. Okay, reload. Run. There we go. Three more. more health. Stand on the platform and we'll move on. You know, the shooting f the obviously doesn't feel as tight as like Hacking Destiny the next or anything item like on that. The menu. But... Might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. What the heck? Why am I? It was automatically moving for me. That was weird. Okay, let's see. Mill tech. Uh, hold, I can't see what that is. L1 to activate your scanner. Okay. Job related items are highlighted in gold. Scan two such objects. Scanning, ob uh, scanning highlights objects of interest in your surroundings and provides value information. Okay. Server explosive. Uh, malfunction overload. Okay. Hazards are highlighted in red. Uh, hackable objects are highlighted in green. Objects useful in other ways are highlighted in blue. Oh god, there's... Okay, so hazards red. Uh, hackable objects green. Objects in other ways are blue. Release to exit scanner. Okay. Got him. What's that over there? Looks like a gun. Oh, what the heck was that? This training module will teach you how to apply technological tools to comp work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. With a cyber deck installed, your scanner provides an additional interface for selecting quick hacks and their targets. Use distract enemies to distract the guard. Um, navigate to the list of available hacks with up and down. Okay, ping, distract enemies. Pings the target's network to reveal all information and uh, to all people and devices connected to it. Causes a device malfunction resulting in erratic behavior that will distract nearby people. Okay. Um, execute. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. Sneak up to the guard. All right, all yours. Take him out. Grab. Uh, let's do a non-lethal takedown. You can choose how to deal with enemies. Sometimes it's enough to pour. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork, especially the dead kind. Pick now pick body. up the body and hide it somewhere. You can hide dead and unconscious enemies in certain places, like uh, uh it's like Hitman. <laughs> okay. Don't. <laughs> it's exactly like Hitman. Right, okay. Perfect. Now try to take him down in one slick move. Grab. Was 
that slick enough? You think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have oh, fun. No. Okay. Let's see what this is. Activate the scanner. Camera control. Quick hacking. More complex scenarios. More advanced quick hacks allow you to use the environment or enemies to your advantage. While in control of a camera or turret, you can still quick hack other devices and enemies. Hold L1 to aim at one of the guards. You don't have enough available RAM units to use the detonate grenade quick hack. Breach protocol can be used to trigger network wide effects. Use it now to reduce the RAM cost of all quick hacks. Interesting. Okay, so execute. What the heck? Upload the ice pick daemon. You must recreate its code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. The characters you select will be visible in the buffer. What? <laughs> uh, breach code begins with the first row active. Select 55 from the code matrix. Oh. Select the character from the active row will then activate the column it belongs to. The active area alternates between rows and columns. Select BD from the code matrix. To upload Damien, you must recreate its code sequence in exact order. Huh. Now, detonate the grenade. Um How do I do that? See. Detonate grenade. Execute. Oh. <laughs> exit. To exit, press. Uh... See, just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders, in true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Take your spot on the podium. That was a lot to take in. Got oh, additional modules doing that. if you want to hone any other skills. Or you Hacking, finish up, don't doubt now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. Uh, you've completed the mandatory portion of the tutorial. Feel free to interact with the door and enter the simulation. Like, or, hey, chill out. Reading. Uh, exit the simulation. Or if you wish to learn other gameplay features, check out the O. Oh, um, so there's two of four, so there's two more. Let's do, yeah, I want to learn stealth, actually. Right, so first, let's shape up those stealth skills. Okay. Um, tagging, hold L1 to use your scanner. I'll help all the ones. Attack a target with your optical cyber aim and press R3. Wait, uh, did that work? Okay, all right, so they're all, they're all, okay. Enemies that are unaware of your presence will continue their routines. Pay attention to their behavior patterns and use what you learn to sneak around them. So now, now what? Ah. Hostile area. Okay, okay. All right, well, those two are stationary. Ah. When you enter an enemy's line of sight, their alert indicator will begin to fill. Cover, find cover to avoid detection. Find cover, quick. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Yeah, but that guy's facing, or isn't he? Hold on, how come that guy isn't selected? There he is. Wait. There we go. Yeah, that's what I that's what I wanted. Okay, so when crouch you can move silently. <laughs> uh 
Ugh. Ah, so he's moving. How come that guy isn't moving? That's weird. Can I take this guy out? <laughs> I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but... Nova, well done. On to the next area. Security systems. Keep an eye out for security systems such as turrets and surveillance cameras, which can trigger alarms to alert enemies to your position. Now the same thing, only with the camera. Okay. It's so dark, I can't even, like, really tell what's going on here. Oh, so it's oh god. V, you're not a gonk brained Militech recruit. Get moving. Hey. Okay, okay. I'm gonna wait for it to uh, oh I can see on my mini map where it's kinda its cone of uh vision is. Okay. Oh, I definitely need to move faster when I'm crouched. Ooh, see that? Okay. Interesting. The mini map is actually more helpful than looking at the real thing. Nice work today. Just stand on yeah. the platform to exit this. Then we wrap this party up. Okay, what's this uh what's the last one? Advanced combat. Alright. Yeah, there's a lot to absorb in the in the beginning of this game. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take them oh. down, but careful. Looks tough. Well, crouch, you can move silently. Practice makes perfect. So can I, uh, do you think I can grab? Oh! Grappling strong enemies. Enemies at a much higher level than you, marked with a skull icon, are able to free themselves from your grapple more easily. Defeating them is extremely difficult, so proceed, proceed with caution. Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone what? closer to your weight class. Fast attacks. Tap R2 to perform a fast attack. Okay. To perform a fast attack combo, press R2 while the previous attack, fast attack, is being executed. Okay. Hold R2 to charge a strong attack, then release to perform it. Okay. Like that. Continuously attacking your enemy will drain your stamina. Fast attacks and strong attacks have different stamina costs. Your current stamina is displayed as the yellow bar on top of your HUD. Okay, got it. Oh. Your enemy is in a blocking stance. Strike him to see how your attacks affect him. Let's bump things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block your attacks. Fast attacks will not damage a block enemy. Only strong attacks. Okay. Hey. Hold R2 to take a block. Uh, L2 to break it. Okay. bit coming up now. Block and blows. Step dealer. Hey! Whoa, whoa! When you are hit while blocking, the attack will consume part of your stamina. Drops to zero. Okay. Oh. That was uh. Okay. Your enemy strong attacks and breaker blocking. Okay. Come on. It's hard. It's weird watching uh, uh, melee attacks while you're first person. Block two strong attacks. Okay, I got it. Come on. Alright, that's one. Come on. Alright. 
counter attacks. To counter an incoming attack, press L2 to block just before getting hit to deflect the attack and automatically deal the enemy. Okay. Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there what? and land a counter punch. Okay, okay. Uh, too early. Hmm. To dodge, choose a direction with the and double tap circle. Okay. I like that. Oh. Hey, Want to see this fool punch an air next? Don't let him land anything. <laughs> Use all the te techniques you've learned so far to defeat the enemy. Okay. You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, you go? young apprentice. Oh, that Let's was move it. On to melee weapons. Grab a sword. Whip. Ooh. Melee combat techniques you've learned can also be used with melee weapons, such as katana. Alright. Good. Now show me what you've learned. You're equipped with with ranged weapons and a cyber deck. You will now face a mix of enemies whom you already encountered in training. Defeat them however you choose. Oh, interesting. Uh. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's dead. I don't think I can block bullets. How can I run towards this guy? Alright. Good stuff. <laughs> Looks like you're cruising already. Yeah, that was not the best. I I forgot that I could switch to probably guns to deal with some of those guys. Alright, we'll I'll hopefully get better at some of those. Okay. Is that it? Use the door. All right, let's get out of here. Run. Every game uses a different button for run. It's not always like this one is you have to push L3. Okay. So, not bad, huh? But now we can get down to biz. Um, all right, so we, we hit an hour and I don't know like what this next thing is going to do. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pause it here for this episode. Going to be long. Hey, all right, here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. Um, yeah, this was, uh, definitely a lot to take in. Um, but I'm, I'm pumped that we're actually finally playing this game and we'll, we'll just, it's still opening up for us. We're still kind of like learning all the ins and outs. So hopefully in the next one, we'll, we'll, We'll uh, just see a little bit more of the story and see what happens. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. All right, bye.